Game design and visual effects, we're mostly working on um, game mechanics. It's the principles of game design. It's not necessarily sitting and making a video game. It's more about what makes a good game, what, how can you break a game? How do players push the limits of the game? How do you make it so that everybody's happy and having fun while they're playing the game? Well, it opens a lot of opportunities for me to just get used to the programs that they use in the actual field. Programs such as Photoshop, Maya, a lot of those programs used in the business world. So at the start of the year, we had to design a 3D car. Um, because we have 3D printers here, we're able to actually take our creations and put it in our hands, which is awesome. I've become a lot better at being able to manipulate objects in 3D space and also like spatial reasoning skills with how like different things work in the same amount of space through the 3D modeling. So we write a game design document, which is a really hefty writing project at the very beginning of the year. They write for two months, I think, on this. And they love it because it's all about building a game from world building to character building. It's really fun. It's a little bit different. I think I like this one, which is a lot of, um, a lot of writing, which is a lot of thinking. I was able to dive deeper into what it takes to actually um, create a, or a video game and what goes into more of the pre-planning phase and the actual creation phase. Today they're working on their first prototype for their board game. So they're coming up with the, uh, the basic mechanics for how the game will be played, how you win the game, how long the game should play for. And we are collaborating with the psychology class to create a game that raises awareness about mental illnesses. And my group has schizophrenia and we are making a board game on destigmatizing schizophrenia. Most teams are taking different approaches to it. For example, some teams are creating games to be played like during a therapy session, and then um, our team is just creating like sort of those like casual games that you would play with your family on a Friday night or something like that. They're creating paper prototypes right now so that they can play test them as soon as possible to figure out if it plays well or if it doesn't play well. I think I really like thinking about how the mechanics work together and just thinking about how you make something that will be fun to play. Not just a story, not just what you want to think, but how it actually works together to make something truly enjoyable. Uh, we actually have some people who are interested in our games already. Um, some people who are working towards destigmatizing mental illnesses. Once we're done with the game, we, uh, the people are going to come in, look at them, see if they like them, and if they actually like them, we'll actually start marketing them. In terms of soft skills, what we learn in this class has a lot to do with project management because the board game project lasts for three months and it's got a lot of parts and pieces to it. Well, we're definitely learning like how to manage teams. We're learning how to manage people. Um, my team in particular, we are working with the psychology class here at New Tech. And it's kind of like a dual class combination kind of thing and all of our information we're getting to put into our game is from the psychology class. The other piece that we're teaching is because we collaborate with another class, how do you communicate with people who are on your team who you don't see every day? And how do you handle things like when a teammate doesn't come through? How, what does that email look like? And how do you still encourage collaboration even though you may be frustrated? My team had the unfortunate circumstance where we were paired up with a team that hasn't done their work at all. So we are definitely learning like um, personal skills as communication skills. Um, we're definitely like taking responsibility and like, hey guys, we need you to do your work so we can focus on our work. My favorite thing about the class would be like how much freedom we're given. We, there are like guidelines and stuff we need to follow, but as long as you're doing what you need to learn, you can present that in any way you want. I would say about 40% of my students are really keen on getting a job somehow in the video game business or in somehow using their digital skills that they're learning here uh, out in the world. There's a real engagement here. It's a real authentic need to know about what we're learning in class and gaining the skills that they need in order to go out in the world and do their thing.